we gave up um doing traditional intros and we, yeah now we just hit record and just start talking oh cool. smart so we're, we're we're live we're live we're live cool sweet Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah. Thanks for coming on again. It's been a while since I've actually been on with you. I feel like the last couple of times it was oh. you and you and Try. Is that right? Oh yeah, we had a solo episode. That's right. Yeah. I enjoyed that. It was fun for me though, because when I went to transcribe it, I was like, this is a great episode. <laughs> I actually got to listen to one of our own episodes without having participated in it. Yeah. Right. You guys did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thanks. You. Yeah, we, we did. did huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think got we got there at the same time, maybe a little <laughs> bit before you. <laughs> and we have a first time guest. Yes. It's Carly Lloyd. Yeah. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm great. I'm excited to be here and join you guys. Yeah. yeah. We had, uh, how many indoor players have we had on? Like pure indoor. Uh, Carly's hybrid now. Oh. No, I know. I, know. Say that. <laughs> I was going to get, I was getting there. 2022 but. Manhattan Beach Open. You guys were a ridiculously bad draw. You were like Q60 or something. It was like, I think we were last. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we were really low. And you guys almost qualified. We were one. We were even in the third set, I think, in that match. Yeah, you should. A couple points away. Yeah, that was. uh, We've all been there. Yeah. Yeah. Too soon. (laughs) The dagger. Oh my god. Third set, final round. Uh, You just rewatched. Yeah, (laughs) just rewatched it. Pulling a highlight where you lose the point just because you're like, I gotta pull. I had to have done something right here. It's the only time I've ever jumped over a banner and had something good happen. Right. When we still lost. Right. <laughs> Ball stayed up, though. It's all about content. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Give the people Did what they want. Yeah. <laughs> but we had, uh, what did we have? We had Kavika on once. Yeah, the show just came on together. Oh, they were both on? Yeah, during COVID. Uh, it was a Zoom. COVID. So uh, we haven't had many, though. And DeFalco. Oh, DeFalco. But pretty he much played it. Manhattan, but you know? he's yeah. like, he was beach, right? He yeah. Played some, he's really Kind of. He played one event, though. He, oh. And he's was clearly legit. very good at he's it. Very, <laughs> yeah, he's like he low-key really it. good. Yeah. He can do it, yeah. for sure. But I'd say he's played 99% of his volleyball indoors. Yeah. 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 But now we have you. Yeah, cool. The hybrid. I'm excited. Yeah, first couple, maybe? Besides our wives? Actually, yeah, I think you guys hey. are the first one, first ones to come on oh, as a couple. Right. Good for you guys. There we go. Congrats. <laughs> Making Sandcast history. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back from Italy. How yeah. uh, how was it? How was it like? I mean, there's so there's so many elements to that question. Like, how was it coming back as a player after having a right. daughter? Mm-hmm. Just like, how was it just being in Italy again? Like in the A1, it's the best league in the world, arguably. Yeah, I think. Um, from my side of it, like I was a little bit nervous getting back into it because I had been away for almost a year and a half from the indoor side and just playing at that level. I played a little bit of the, the AU, um, the AU league in Dallas. So I was, that's like a six week deal. So going over for eight months and I think I felt a little bit of guilt, honestly, pulling like Riley and Storm away from home and kind of trying to, to do this again. But looking back, I'm it like could have gone better the volleyball side of it we we face like injuries and stuff like that with our team but the experience i think for us as a family was super rad mm-hmm. and i feel like i did my job like i i wanted to find a balance between like being a mom and being the volleyball player and i wanted one of my goals is just to be able to tell storm that story one day and say like hey mm-hmm. you can do it too like i think that's it's really powerful and it's really really hard to have an athletic career as a a mother just because it is our bodies that have to go on a break so I feel like really good about it I like I and I feel like I got really lucky with him because he had already kind of experienced that world and knew what it was going to take and he'd already lived in Italy and speak the language so I think the transition from us going being here to going there was pretty smooth I think it could have been a lot harder if he hadn't been in that lifestyle before but he like killed it. He was basically full-time dad and yeah. it's hard to do that. So I, right. he can speak yeah. a little bit about that. But um, one of the coolest feelings was like being able to um, look in the stands and like see him with her. And I just felt really supported and like we were in the right place a right. lot of the time. So I'm really happy with it, even though the volleyball wasn't awesome all the time. I'm like really happy with it. Yeah. How do you feel? No, I felt I felt uh, very similar, except obviously uh, from a different side because yeah. I wasn't playing. Although yeah. I did play in a couple of practices. You did. Oh, really? <laughs> I saw yeah. some clips. 
no way. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty fun. Um, I'll talk about that later. Set but oh my God. <laughs> no, I didn't set, dude. I was hitting. Oh, Oppo. Oh, OT. I was going. I was going OT a little that. bit. <laughs> 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 um, but like the first thing that stood out was one of the main things that I realized was being a full time parent is way harder than any stressful work environment that right. I've ever had to be a part of. Not yeah. that it was like stressful right. really ever i mean you would think it would be being in like a foreign country with mm-hmm. a with a two-year-old or a one and a half year old um but it was just like it's so draining yes. like i got super lucky i mean i i that i could spend that much time with her mm-hmm. but it was just like it was hard and like i it totally changed my perspective on parenting and you know workloads and sharing that with with your partner and Um, that was like the main thing that stood out. Um, so there's like a lot of great, um, a lot of challenging, but, um, overall it was a super great experience. Um, I'm like so thankful that we got to go to Italy and like be in the same city that Carly started in. Um, so, and live in the exact same apartment that she lived in 10 years ago and with the exact same neighbors. That's really cool. That's pretty poetic. Yeah. Um, so we had like a really awesome community. Mm-hmm. Um, literally our next door neighbors and then like the, the family that lived above us, they have two little kids. So, um, it couldn't have been a better situation. And, oh, wow. um, yeah, just like people that, you know, it's really important to have a good community around you, especially when you're like in a foreign land. Mm. And these are people that I've ha- maintained a relationship with for the past, actually almost 12 years now. It was my first season was 12 years ago. And this family lived in the apartment across the hall from us. And so, or from me at the time. And so coming back this year, they were still there and they're basically landlords of our apartment that we lived in. And they had a, when I went there, uh, for my first contract out of college, they had a five-year-old daughter. And when we got there, she turned 16. So she's a 16 year old now and she can actually like (laughs) play with storm. And so it was kind of crazy for, for me, I think for Mickey, um, the mom over there, like it was kind of full circle for her too, like to see me with a child now and but yeah Yeah. they and they helped us so much i mean so much much having someone that you trust just to be able to watch her for an hour so that riley can go get a workout in or something because i'm on the road and yeah so overall it really worked out yeah i think it's already one of the the biggest values of living overseas and like doing that whole indoor experience is like you get to experience another country's culture Mm because you actually you're not going there like we do now for a week or two Mm -hmm. Like you actually have to live there, mm-hmm. but it's even double that when you bring a whole family there mm-hmm. and you start to know people, you learn the language, which most people don't. Or mm-hmm. I didn't. I was just too slow. It's well, hard. Turkish is a bit different than <laughs> yeah. Italian. Yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> I'll give myself some credit there, but I did live in Puerto Rico as well, uh, yeah. which is like, I was trying to give you an out. <laughs> 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 oh, no, but like, I mean, yeah extremely yeah. valuable to bring a whole family to another country mm-hmm. especially i mean even being from hawaii it feels like we're from a different country yeah yeah for like sure california is a whole different culture than yep. hawaii and then italy is even double that mm-hmm. probably yep and then yeah just a super valuable experience i'm sure well and i knew it was cool like uh going there and um we were like faced with this the decision on what to do with storm during the day like do we put her in school oh, because right. they have that in italy from zero to three years uh of age you can go three to, months to three oh, yeah. years yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. three you months to three years kids already can barely talk so maybe the language right that's kind matter. of what we were thinking but they uh so we put storm in in school for four hours a day and mm-hmm. she started learning like a lot of italian and mm-hmm. is still saying that while well, being here she also kind of has like a little bit of an accent like yeah like, mama she does like my family was like they just want to listen to her say mama because it's like mama instead of like mama right like, yeah. so say funny it. she's like a, fla- a little flair <laughs> and she definitely yeah. uses some italian words and like sentences yeah. it's a mixture it's like a, yeah. yeah it's crazy because like kids i mean her, she's there's no one better on the planet than a two-year-old three-year-old yep. at learning languages mm-hmm. right yeah that's They're like little yeah. parrots you know they just right. repeat yeah. anything they hear yeah and now the challenge coming back is do we, we for her to continue learning, we have to speak it at home because yeah. there's not Italian, right. I've searched, there's not Italian schools around here. Mm-hmm. So like we have to take it upon ourselves to really like force that because it's hard at home to speak a language that's not your first <laughs> right. language, yeah. you know? Yeah. So you we're both speaking kind of, pretty well though, right? Mm-hmm. I remember it's in Italy for snow volley, 
you did an interview oh, yeah. after a win. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you just spit in like straight Italian yeah. so fast. Yeah. I was like, damn. <laughs> when it comes to like volleyball related stuff, I'm pretty, I wouldn't say fluent, but I'm, I'm close to it. But then anything outside of that, I can kind of get, get mm. tricked up pretty easily, but. He gets by though. I mean, he's yeah. fine. It's just that he's not as comfortable as he'd like to be. Right. I used to be a lot better, but then like also when you're just kind of at home a lot, taking care of Storm and right. Carly's out playing with their teammates who are all Italian. It's right. like yeah. that's where you like really start developing the language skills is when you're playing right. with a team right. and have to like communicate mm-hmm. um, or like even in stressful situations. But when you're at home with uh, a little two year old, <laughs> doesn't really <laughs> convert. Yeah. <laughs> what was like, what did a day look like? Because I know that competing, you travel a lot, mm-hmm. playing. And then did you travel with the team? Or did, was it like kind of a half and half? The only time I traveled was actually because I was asked to go to another snow volleyball event. Okay. Um, so I took Storm out there with me, which was crazy. <laughs> that solo, like cross country. <laughs> uh-huh. um, and I stayed at uh, Prato Nevoso, which is where the, the tournament was at. And then Carly happened to be playing. Uh, an hour away mm. so uh, storm and i hopped in the car and drove to watch her play and then we picked her up and brought her to the snow volley event right after yeah it was, I was <laughs> yeah it was really cool to have him at like a, a, a true away game because it's like yeah. kind of far from home look there are a few teams that are nearby where we were because we we're like near milan so there's like a solid seven teams that are within an hour yeah so he came to a couple of away games just on his own he never traveled with the team or anything they, they kind of they're pretty rigid with their rules and like yeah. what family can and can't do. And it's also <laughs> very rare to find moms playing over there. I mean, there are right. some, but it's right. not, I was for sure the only parent on my team. And so it's not super common to see them on the bus. Whereas in Brazil, right. it's different. They have different rules and they kind of are more lenient there than right. they are even in Italy. So, yeah. um, but like a typical day, I mean, I, I trained uh, double days twice a week and then had single practices um, the rest of the week with one day off usually. Okay. Um, and I mean, we put her, yeah, we put her in school in the morning. So like he had the mornings to work out or work and then the rest of the day he had storm. Yeah. If I, you know, was training, they came to my, almost every practice. We lived three minutes from the gym, which was mm. rad. Um, and she would just roam the gym and drive mm. him crazy. And, <laughs> and then on road trips, I mean, I, yeah, I would leave him solo with her for, it, it wasn't usually more than like. 48 hours you yeah. know those yeah. trips so unless we were going um like to turkey or somewhere else for a chev match yeah. but what an experience yeah yeah, Jeez. yeah. yeah. it's kind of crazy it's cool too because it's so unique as the guy to be yeah like mm-hmm. it's such a stereotypical thing for the yeah. female to do it mm-hmm. but like probably I, i'm guessing in 10 15 years it's gonna be like the most valuable experience yeah. looking back on that you got to like take on that role yeah i was super stoked on it um it was like a no-brainer but extremely hard yeah 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 it was i'm it was really hard um but i for sure would do it all over again knowing that i definitely thought it was going to be easier uh (laughs) i don't picture it being like i think gabby obviously her career could take off at some point i'm like i hope i can like be you know yeah cruise and let her work and i'm like she's like you can't handle it. Kind of thing. Yeah. I'm like, I know it'll be extremely hard, but I can handle it. And now Riley did it. So <laughs> I can definitely, can do, definitely it. do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it must be super valuable. Yeah. I mean, I'm just like, uh, super grateful that I got to spend those years with storm. Right. Because like before then, uh, Carly was, I mean, in all honesty, Carly was doing most of the parenting. She spent most of the time with storm. Right. Uh, Madison and I were so busy with um, what we were doing in in our work and then it's it's weird like you just don't understand like what the other side is going through and how hard even though it's like you're just spending time with like a little baby and right at that sometimes they can't even move and it's like okay it's not even that hard like what are you complaining about yeah. and then it flips and you're like oh, this is impossible so like can you please just help me a little bit right. <laughs> yeah and, and she's coming home from work yeah like i know my body's crushed yeah. my mind's crushed i know it's not like here you go i know Your and there, there are times where i'm like like asking for a break but like she's the one who should need the break you know like she's right. playing like a five-set match I'm like can you just like put her to bed this, this time right. or whatever 
um so like get gaining that perspective also is like amazing because um i feel like just understanding that side of things uh like makes life a lot better for everyone right yeah totally how did did becoming a mom change you at all as a competitor I've become so interested in that just mm-hmm. ever since Delaney got pregnant, mm-hmm. where her competitiveness, I mean, it just shut off. Mm-hmm. Just couldn't care any less. Mm-hmm. Like, the, she didn't want to play anymore. And moms are always so different because now I think Betsy's the only full time mom on the AVP. Mm-hmm. And she's still like a killer out there. Right. But then Kim DiCello, she thought that she was going to be this, like, like, still fierce competitor. And she's like, I just didn't have it. Mm-hmm. I'm curious what your experience was like. That's a really good question. I definitely have noticed a difference in myself, but I think I had already started transitioning out of like having this Olympic dream and I'd already been away from the national team a little bit. So like I didn't have these big lofty goals that I was going after. I was still just playing because I loved it and I felt like I was still getting better. Mm -hmm. So I think when I had Storm, I kind of was already in that space. I wasn't like coming off of just like having all this desire to reach these crazy goals. And so when I had her, I wasn't actually sure if I would want to come back. And I was kind of, I mean, I had a lot of conversations with Riley and my family about like, if I really wanted to do it, cause I didn't know if I, if I like could find the competitor enough to do it. Yeah. And then Riley just kept telling me like, um, these these years are very limited. Like you're, you're not gonna be able to play forever. So if you have any desire at all, we should go after it. And like for as long as you want. And so if I hadn't had him telling me that, I don't know if like I would have, and it's not because the competitor died, but like, it just wasn't the same, but it already wasn't really the same for me. So it's hard for me to like, really, it's different for every mom, I think. Um, but after having that experience and being there, I really noticed like, um, your time is very valuable. So I like looking back on it, I know that my teammates probably needed more from me off the court, like connecting, connecting with your teammates and like building those relationships, especially as a setter, it's really important. But like, I was exhausted. Like I didn't have a lot of extra energy to do that, to Mm -hmm. go out, to go to dinners and, and things like that. And so I think like as a, as an athlete and a mom, it was hard to find the balance for my team. I, I think as like in the gym, I'm going all out and I, I'm, you know, I have the energy for that, but then it's after that, that like, yeah. I didn't have as much as I've had in the past. And I think that's something that if I do play again, I would have to like really put more energy into that mm-hmm. part of it. Um, but yeah, the competitor in me is, I think she's a little, I, I still like, I guess I do compete pretty hard still. Yeah. I just don't, I'm not the same as when I was younger and I like, had that vision of like, I wanted a gold medal Mm -hmm. and like, I was really getting after that, that dream. Um, I think that it's important to have like a goal that you're striving for, especially at this level with how much time you're putting into the, into the work. Are you in kind of like a goal reevaluating stage now? Cause you've proved yourself that you can play one of the highest leagues Mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. And so are you just kind of reevaluating what the next say year, I don't know how long an off season is for indoor it's like four months okay yeah so you got we some time play yeah we play till may and then start back up in august or september yeah we are in a, a, a holding pattern yeah I guess. <laughs> trying to we're weighing all the options and trying yeah. to figure out the best move for yeah for my career but also like for our family it's just really hard to make the decisions now yeah um yeah, we're talking like constantly. Before we came, we were like, I'm trying to, I'm not writing it out. Like, right. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so much lot. easier when you don't have a kid to make those, yes. those decisions. Cause I mean, st- our daughter like changes everything. It's like, well, yeah. that's gonna be too cold for the whole year. Like, then, yeah. And we're not gonna be able to <laughs> learn that language or, mm-hmm. so that's out. Even though, like, if it was five years ago, I'd be like, oh, yeah, let's do it. That'd be right. a great experience. Yeah. 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 Right. So, it's tough now. Yeah, it is oh. tough. It yeah. really is. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like And it. then you bring Beach into the mix, and it's like, I don't know which one I like better now. So <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah. And Carly's we're obsessed. Gaining, we're gaining a lot of perspective on just momming on yeah. this podcast. Because we've had like a f- yeah. fair share of playing moms. Mm-hmm. And then last week or whatever, recently we had April Ross on, and she was talking about it. She's gonna be a mom she's mm-hmm. not there yet but she's coming off of like being being that olympic gold medalist mm-hmm. <clears throat> excuse me and like 
living that life that you're talking about where it's just like cutthroat Mm -hmm. i gotta do everything to win now that's not a priority at all and this little human's all the yeah. priority it's just like can't really apply that to your being mind mom. yeah <laughs> Delity. right exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah kids they'll change everything yeah yeah, yeah they everything. really do but that's what i've been wrestling with those same things we like yeah five years ago i'd say that's a great experience yeah. and now like when guys ask me to play futures a year ago i'd have been like course i'll go to egypt right and lose two grand it sounds great <laughs> yeah <laughs> right now, like as the financial provider i'm like quick no yeah, yeah. Yeah. well not only that too but it's like it's hard also to like spend that amount of time away from your yeah, kid 100%. it's like i mean you know you spend like a lot of time yeah. away and like that's that would like rip me apart yeah so when i used to say yes to everything i mean that was like our motto now yeah it's like you said it's it's a lot of no's yeah yeah um but we're even like next week or whatever a few days we go to ostrava yeah and then we could stay there for a week because we got to play there again the following week but we're coming home yeah like easy decision your dad's come home we have yep. seven days home yeah <clears throat> everyone else is out there for like a month they're gonna stay even through stock well i asked andy <clears throat> and miles that and like they're the opposite they're like yeah, we're, we're probably going to stay. Like, it would cost an extra three grand to come home. So we're just going to stay up there. Right. And, like, that's the we're luxury like, you no have as, as as young kids. You know, yeah. you don't have to think about the people you're leaving back here. And yeah. It's almost like a like an advantage, you know. But yeah, you got dad, that, you got dad strength, though. Dad strength. Yeah, yeah. Girl dad strength. Yeah, yeah. You came back with dad strength. The Italian gyms. Oh. Yeah, you got a little. Is that the pasta or the weight room? <laughs> it's the shirt, bro. It's the Italian shirt. <laughs> I, I see that. <laughs> The bicep squeezer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it hides the it hides the belly a little bit, there the pasta go. belly. But, uh, Busting out that. No, I was, that I was trying to. <laughs> I was trying to get back in the weight room. Um, I had some time, some free time up there, so trying, trying to like get my my knee back. You know, like mm, that's right. Try to just build a bunch of strength there and see if it can handle. But you had surgery, right? Yeah, right after Storm was born. Right back in May of 2021. And it just like didn't heal great, That's right. um, and it like it really like withered away that muscle. So I was like, okay, maybe if I get it really strong, I'll yeah. be able to jump again. And uh, sampled it a little bit playing with uh, with Carly's right. team indoors too. And it was did, bad. It didn't feel great. No, it was bad. It didn't feel well, great. We were like, like playing, his game. We we're like, well, dude, I haven't no, jumped he... indoor in like five years. I'm picturing you <laughs> and, like oh. being very like. And we started with high balls. The, yeah, and you're, and you're pretty top heavy right now. <laughs> I mean, oh, high I'm, balls! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Timing. Like, no, I was like, can we just start like with some like, hitting lines? Uh, like, no, you're gonna hit D balls, and we're gonna start with high out of system. Like the entire practice, I'm like, oh my god, I was so nervous trying to hit the first balls. Like, just hit it over the net. Just All you gotta do is contact. It. Just contact. He actually yeah. did okay, but by the time I got on his side of the net, because like most of the practice I'm playing against him. I get over there and I see how much he's hurting. And I'm like, I cannot set him a ball. Like well, I, I told have Carly, to I was like, don't <laughs> stop setting him. So, don't set me. Yeah. Right. So I just start setting everything to outside, outside, outside. And at one point he's like, seriously, just don't set me anymore. I was like, yeah. okay. It's over. <laughs> set him one ball and he's like, done. Yeah. So, and then I think he practiced with us once. Two more times, I think. Oh, two more. Oh, but one, one day was just like DS. Just playing back oh, there row. Yeah, that's some right. balls, Which was a little easier, but. More it's hard when your body doesn't feel good yeah. to be in there. I well, like it's so it's, different. It, like jumping wasn't the worst thing. It was landing. Like I forgot how to land. Well, you forgot how to land on hardwood too. Probably. Yeah. Like I can't. I'll go like try to dunk. Like I definitely oh. jump higher than I've ever jumped in my life right now. Yeah. And I, like barely dunking. I'm like what the fuck? Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. yeah. I can't it's jump different. indoor, and then I land yeah. is like. Dude, yeah, that's yeah, the scary cool. part. <laughs> the floors coming up at you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's just. Like it's like my hip and my knee doesn't bend because it's trying to protect my knee, and then the, the other oh. knee starts hurting. And I'm like, okay, this is this is dumb. What am I yeah. doing? Put me in the back row. Yeah. <laughs> Let me right. set. I was like, can I set? I can set. I, I can exactly. set. Yeah. I can set. <laughs> like, no, no, no. We need you Carly, hitting yeah, outside. Yeah. Hitting combo. <laughs> Just bench, Carly. <laughs> oh man. Well, what's and what's your future looking like? Obviously, probably a little unclear as well. But with maddie and the youtube channel and whatever else you guys are doing with avp and wilson and i mean yeah you pretty much summed it up right there that's (laughs) that's all of it um up until right now like our biggest project has been wilson and then 
um, this past year, or actually just even like a few weeks ago, we just uh, officially signed with the AVP, and now we're going to be trying applying or trying to apply all of the principles that we've been perfecting, I guess, uh, over the past four years of character building, um, I guess you would call it, to the athletes on the AVP. Um, so basically now our future is just a lot busier, a lot more stressful, um, because like creating content or creating good content isn't like that stressful when it's just your own, right? It's just going on your just channel, like creative. whatever. Whatever and like telling, good. yeah, telling like our stories, you know, right, those yeah. were like super fun because I get to like go back into like our old high school footage right. and I know all those stories, you know, so they're easy to tell. But now working with the AVP and like all of their athletes and like it's the 40th anniversary. So we have to dive back 40 years oh. and try to like bring all of that to life. It's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work. Um, it's a crazy challenge. Um, Luckily, we have like a little bit of experience making this kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> More than but, anyone on the beach. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, so um, yeah, that's that's what we're doing right now. Um, it's it's kind of crazy, but it's it's a crazy challenge. But we're we're up for it. And what what you guys are doing is gonna live on the AVP's YouTube channel. Yeah, I think it's gonna live on the AVP's YouTube channel. Potentially some stuff to go on ESPN or like whenever they're broadcasting the game, some uh, short content for that. But um, the majority of it will be on t YouTube, their Instagram, whatever they choose to right. use, and yeah, um, maybe some TV. We'll see. That's cool. That's we'll important. See. Yeah, like, said, like building yeah. characters. We talk about that all the time on here that yeah. there's just kind of a, a lack of that in the sport. And I think you guys, I think just volleyball aside and that you guys are like the only supply and a very high demand of it. I think you guys could take your talents to any sport and you'd be one of the best creators of it. I oh, think you guys are tremendous. Thanks man. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fun. I mean, it's not like Madison. And I went to school for any of this, you know, yeah. we're just, uh, we just watched a bunch of YouTube videos and then, uh, to learn how to make YouTube videos and, uh, through a lot of trial and error we've kind of figured it out but um yeah it will be fun to see like where it goes do you feel do you feel like some of your business background has helped or not not really um honestly i don't even remember anything from that like calculating the future value of a loan like who cares about that <laughs> just type that into google that or terrible. chat gpt and <laughs> yeah. figure it out for you um but uh honestly I don't even know my degree's name yeah. <laughs> PPD, what does it stand for? <laughs> Public P Policy and, I and Development. Remember I said political. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yes. Public Policy and Development, right? Uh, is that what it is? Policy, Planning, and Development. Gosh, dang it. But we, when we played in the Final Four, <laughs> they asked me and I, and I wrote Political Planning and Development or something. <laughs> On ESPN. Oh, like, man. I don't know. Oh, I'm amazing. not sure what it stands for. <laughs> <laughs> they just told me to sign up for one. Yeah. And you've never used it since? Oh, no. I was, yeah, no, it's... I was like, what am I doing? Like, You're probably still paying for stuff? it. <laughs> no, I finally paid it off. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. College was just about, can you get through it? And that was like the task at hand. Just find a way <laughs> to get through it. <laughs> And you were you were Berkeley, right? Yeah. Oh, you make me laugh. Different experience. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly different experience. Oh my your gosh, degree. a little bit. I, What's your degree? I don't use it at all. I I majored in social welfare and minored in education. I wanted to. I went into Cal thinking I would major in psychology because I love like I love that aspect. I wanted to be like a family counselor. I think family dynamics are really important, and like had this vision. Mm -hmm. I went there in the academic advisor was like, if you major in psychology, you will not graduate in four years. It's going to be way too hard being an athlete and really? having that at Cal. Yeah. And I was like, well, then what can I major in so that I can graduate in four years? Right. And, um, with social welfare, I could take the majority of my classes were psychology classes. So I okay. got to study it a little bit, but yeah, my degree is social welfare, which is like a branch under sociology. And yeah, I don't use it at all. And it kind of bums me out. I'm like, these colleges need to like help the kids make these decisions. Like, shouldn't that be an important part of college? Is like picking what you're studying for all those years. Yeah. Like you can't let me happen. Right. Like, 
We're just like, hey, pick something. You have one week. Well, oh I just God. feel like it's right. hard to well, know Vince what you want to do. Brad are doing you're too that. young. Yeah. It's, yeah. You're too young to like know for some people. They didn't for a lot of people. to me what it was. I literally yeah. saw. I was emphasis in real estate. I was like, I'd love to own land one day. Well, it didn't help I that I yeah. own real estate. <laughs> real estate sounds great. <laughs> It didn't help that like we had a bunch of uh, teammates that were all doing that. That's true. And like that was like, that was it, what, you weren't really studying real estate. It was more like if you know you're going to be in real estate, this is what you should take to like. Right. That's like yeah. the. Well, but half of those guys. It like, taught you nothing about in, it. Like, right. Real yeah. estate families. Right. 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 Bay. And um, yeah, it didn't, it didn't teach me anything. Well, I think it's telling that we're all in our 30s. And Adam Schultz, the Canadian coach, he asked me the day. He's like, what do you want to do? It's like like five years from now, like no idea. Yeah, it's like if you would have told me ten years ago that this is what I was doing for a living, I, there's no way I would have predicted that. <laughs> like we're asking seventeen year old kids to make that choice. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's the I didn't know what I wanted to do until like I don't know five years ago, right? You know, maybe six. And My dad then, always like, jokes. He's like, I got friends who still don't know what they want to do. Yeah, right. I'm like, oh, I want to do well, nothing. <laughs> I want to do whatever the hell I want to do. <laughs> God, that's a great quote. Right? <laughs> I want to do the Riley. I want Gabby to go be successful and then I can just cruise and yeah. show up with Naya at, at the, the trailer. That's you know? where the guns come from, just holding the, your daughter. The baby holding. Yeah. Dude, I'm starting Minivan. to feel that endurance. Move. Minivan. Man. Coach the Ladybug <laughs> soccer team. <laughs> Uh, surf maybe <laughs> you know, austin's up to like 13 pounds now and so just holding him i'm like i'm getting like a oh, good dude, burn yeah, right the, now. the yep. t-spine burn it's real yeah yeah that's the one that hurts yeah actually that hurts like during tournaments when we're filming for so long oh yeah that hurts for after camera while. baby but now i got jameson doing that instead of me so it's great yeah how Third was it uh break. being back filming on the beach again it's good. It's good that we have more help now. Yeah. Like now we have uh, enough work to where we have to. Like we've been trying to take on more and more work to force us to build our team. Um, so it's nice when we get onto these tournaments. I don't always have to be holding a camera. Yeah. Um. So. It was funny watching. I made eye stream. contact during the final. Riley's literally right staring right there, and I'm just like. <laughs> When I started talking, I think, and the crowd was all yeah, yeah. like, ooh, try his talking crap. I was like, I know he's looking at and me. And then I just looked right at <laughs> I'm looking under the net around him. Like, <laughs> he's just staring at me. Well, I love Trevor found you right away after, I think, Theo hit an ace to beat someone. And yeah, Trevor's, Trevor, Trevor knows the drill these goes, days. Oh, yeah. 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 He goes right For under sure. the net and finds the camera and... It had to have been the standard Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. Suck on that, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor, like, he knows. He's, mm -hmm. But also what I realized with Trevor is he doesn't start talking trash until he knows he's going to win. <laughs> really? Like, okay, Jameson, oh, they're up by four. Okay, stand by me. He's going to start looking at me. Yeah, and he's going right. to walk right up. He's like, they don't know what they're doing. Or, <laughs> yeah. It's too easy. <laughs> yeah. They don't want it. Yeah, <laughs> so good. So funny. Uh, are you going to play any beach this summer? I've already started. Hey. Let's go. Yeah. Straight I'm to like, it. I'm like, yeah. Don't know what it, how we're going to do this because I, the point, whole points thing, I still don't really understand. Like getting into a Maybe tournament either. seems impossible, yeah. but I'm going to train. I think my goal this summer is like, I'm going to be real diligent about the process and see how good I can get and how well I can understand the sport. And then if I still love it, then maybe like figure out a commitment to how like maybe it's I can't I don't play indoor anymore and but I don't know yet but yeah I I like started playing when I was pregnant with Storm because okay. it was an easier time on my mm -hmm. body like we I couldn't be overseas playing so I was here and we lived a block from the beach and that was the beginning of it that was when I started oh wow so I was I remember biking by all yeah. the time just seeing you guys play. yeah it, like Nikki Jade she was right. she was pregnant too and she had like mm -hmm. a group playing and yeah. I was like can I like jump in and it just built from there. I found like a group of moms that played twice a week. And then I was playing three or four times a week and my belly was growing. And I like, I was obsessed with it. Riley can mm -hmm. attest. Like I was pushing myself actually too much. And in my seventh month, like yeah. he was like, you have to stop because I was like still months. jumping and like, <laughs> I'd come home and like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, and he, I would just be like, <laughs> 
I was just like laid up on the couch and he was like, okay, do you think it's a little too much? And I was like, I just don't want to stop. Like I loved it so much. So anyway, when I, once I had her and, um, coming back, it was my way to get back in shape was to be on the beach. Cause we mm. live so close. And right. I like left for my Italian season after playing on the beach for a few, like a month with the development program, the USA development program. And like, was so sad to leave because I just loved being out there every yeah. day. So as soon as I got back, I was like, Hey, I'm here and I want to try to get good. And they were like, let's go. So That's yeah, awesome. I've been so you're in with Jose's group. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect yeah. because I'm High learning rep. so much. And Jose will say any, like he'll teach all the way down to the fundamentals. He's just talking the whole time. Yep. Speaking his and mind. And it's great. Yeah. It's for me, it's great. I think there's a lot of young players out there that come from college and I feel like, yeah, I'm older, but I think like we're all learning the yeah. same, it's not the same level. They have more experience than I do, but, but you have um, I've played so much. Yeah. yeah. Like I've played so much volleyball that things click. Mm-hmm. It, it takes a minute to like find ugh, how to run on the sand and like move totally. and a lot about waiting. It's not, I feel like I'm always, mm-hmm. I'm so early. Right, right. God. Yeah. And right, they're yeah. like POP. I'm like, what is that? Jose <laughs> like, Try yeah. doesn't do well with abbreviations. No, I do. It. Jose, <laughs> this, Jose said it every day. Now I he know. He got right? so excited yeah. the day that he learned it. <laughs> Guys, P.O.P. We got to work on our P.O.P. <laughs> yeah. Like, pop. You got pop. Point of preparation. So, yeah. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Just learned that last What time. does PPD stand for, though? Well, PPD, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Something about politics. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh that's a perfect group yeah it's great i'm enjoying it it's kicking my butt right now but um we're just gonna see how it goes like what tournaments make sense and because it seems like if you want to play in an avp you have to travel really far and be top four in some event to get into the not even the main job partner with qual with yeah with points yes we've always found if you just take care of becoming a better volleyball player right. like things just yeah you tend yeah. to just find so yourself keep... in the right place mm-hmm. it's like climbing right like she came out mm-hmm. how what she put in a year and a half two years yeah. maybe where she was just like <clears throat> she was okay but like april saw the potential mm-hmm. and like now you're playing with april ross and now you're the best team in the world yeah like you find your you find yourself in the right spot i think people get really intimidated by the points game mm-hmm. like taryn and Kristen, what yeah Two years ago, they're like, we don't know how we're gonna get on tour, but we're gonna go for it as a team. We don't have any points. So we're basically blocked out of everything. Somehow they got into an event, boom, boom, they won it, boom, they're yeah. a top team. Yeah, it's like they play one so event, weird. bottom of the qualifier, and win the right. tournament. That's crazy. Like, oh. They were like fifteen oh, on reserve. List. <laughs> now we're on. <laughs> now we're on tour. Easy. That was yeah. easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're so good. Yeah. What, what's your favorite part about beach? Do you, have, um, do you know what position you want to play at? I don't. I don't know because I feel like I have so much to learn in both. Mm. What I did last summer was I split block and mm. I loved that because right. I got to do both and learn both. And I think I need that still because I I really don't know what, I, what I'm going to be better at. Right. Everyone has their opinion though. Like he tells me one thing and then Jose is like this and Alex thinks something else. I and mean, Madison and I both agree like unanimously she should block but then jose thinks i should defend which is like very confusing for me that but he sees that jose is an interesting guy no <laughs> no, no uh, i and so but, i think well first of all i don't know but i know that split blocking is take like you're taking so much time to learn defense and you're taking you're taking so much time away from learning blocking and you're taking so much time away from Mm -hmm. like that's a huge reason why i made this partner switch yeah i'm like i'm just like being half good at both kind of thing interesting okay and like there was advantages of me and trevor playing that style and split blocking and energy like i'm Mm -hmm. it's way harder to block Mm full-time you can just take that into consideration uh but yeah eventually i think you definitely want to it makes sense. Pick one. I can't Pick like one like sometimes you don't even get them. like in a rhythm in a single match like play, or blocking or playing oh, defense. 100%. I can't imagine like doing half and half. Exactly. You're just like dude, I I never got into a rhythm ever that entire last tournament. I bet that happened often. Yeah, I'd be like at a rhythm at the net, but then we're sending Trevor the next play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like why? 
Yeah. And I felt like I'm getting in a rhythm defense wise yeah. just as a whole. But then it's like, well, we're not going to stop sending me to the mat. Huh. Yeah, it's interesting. I think it helps so your offense, though. You're just way less tired. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. there's benefits yeah. for sure. And you asked, like, what my favorite part of playing on the beach is. It's 100% being able to attack and like the creativity that comes with that uh -huh. because it's as a setter i love running an offense and like making something happen that's really hard and right. you know having to adjust to attackers like i love the challenge in that yeah. but on the beach being able to score like oh my god i'm like finally get i finally want to be served every ball yeah. i'm like just serve me now. yeah <laughs> i like i love it i just oh, yeah. love it it's so fun. And I, I think it's because I've just I played 20 years of volleyball, but like I never, okay, the first few years I was hitting before I went to college. But since like I stepped into the college gym, 5 1 setter, like yeah. go. If you want to go anywhere, yeah. you're going this direction. And so I miss a hitting. And right. that is just something that I, I think it's so fun. Right. I love that part of it. That well, is I fun. mean, yeah. blocking and, yeah, I remember and as a setter, setters, yeah. you guys are always, yeah. you guys pass that we, free ball. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, set me! Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, reward him! Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> My one chance! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I forget what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy that you had no background on the beach at all. No, I mean, I had played in, I think, two beach volleyball tournaments my whole childhood. One was okay. with my sister because... She was a little bit older and she wanted to enter into one. Yeah. And one was with a friend down in San Diego. Okay. Um, Where did you grow up again? In in North County, San Diego, a really okay. small town called Bonzel. Got yeah. It. I went to Fallbrook High School, which is where Billy Allen went to high school. So okay. huh. there, he's like the same age as my sister. And Okay. Um, but yeah, from that area. And so near the beach and like I went to beach tournaments. I have a picture of Carrie and Misty on my wall. It's still in my childhood wall, like in my room on the wall. Their signature is a picture of me and my best friend. Like, oh my God, this is so cool. Like this was, <laughs> right. these are the, those were my idols. Yeah. I didn't know indoor volleyball, like huh. that a high level. Right. Only at the Olympics, like would we turn the TV on and see an, a volleyball player. But to see a like a real life professional volleyball player was down in San Diego at the beach at a, a AVP event. It wasn't like there was nothing else you right. know, happening. So I actually like when I envisioned my future and I thought of like the Olympics, I like saw beach volleyball, but I was playing indoor. Like to yeah. me, they were not the same, but like it was, it was volleyball. And, yeah. um, but I, and I always like thought it would be fun to play beach, but I never, it wasn't available when I went to college. Like the year I left was the year they implemented it and had it available mm -hmm. at Cal. So it, it just never worked and never aligned. And then. Yeah, it started when I got pregnant. <laughs> That's why I started playing. Yeah. Everything yeah. in its own time. Yeah. It always kind of works yeah. out the way it's supposed to work out. I feel like you're totally. pretty built for beach too because you're so into like the the whole package of mm -hmm. being an athlete and like being on a team. And like a lot of times indoor, there's a lot that's taking care of you and you just have to be mm – -hmm. your job is to be one-dimensional. Not one-dimensional, but like – It's very specialized. Specialized, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the people that thrive on the beach are the ones that like the workouts and mm -hmm. and can tell themselves to go do the workouts yeah. and and can do the sports psych sessions and are mm -hmm. fascinated by that stuff mm -hmm. and the team camaraderie stuff they take it upon themselves a lot. Mm -hmm. Whereas indoors you can just cruise and like totally it's pretty much taken care of and just show up, be a part of the team. Yep. It's very true. Be a good athlete. Mm -hmm. And, and that can be enough. It. Yeah. No, it's but like, that can it's be enough different. to be great at that sport. Mm -hmm. But you come out on the beach, you're that same great athlete, but you don't take care of all those mm -hmm. small things that people were taking care of for you. You're you can't yeah. perform at the same level. Right. It's very true. So Good I one. feel like you like that stuff. I like do. it seems like it lights yes. you up, right? It does. And the physicality of it, yeah. like the legs burning. It's not oh, yeah. like yeah. Yeah, it's not, so hard. Like but like, so, yeah, I, love this. I bet Jose really loves so, working with you. Really, because so Jose funny. loves oh, pushing sure. people energy okay. wise. Yeah, and you just seem to be the type of person who's like, I love all this. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's got oh, amazing energy. Like, yeah, he's never negative. He's just he he loves being on the sand. Yeah, yeah, and you know that that joining their group for a month last summer. Like, I was literally there for a month before I had to leave for Italy. I found out about it late. Joined really late, and like, but his energy and the fact that he like wanted me to get better and even though i told him i was like i have one month before i have to leave and like i just love the game can you teach me as much as you know and he was like come whenever you, like he just like yeah. <laughs> yeah, and i was yeah, like god exactly. I, like, I played in brazil you i've had brazilian coaches yeah. yeah and i know that energy like they yes. just 
it's true. They they have a passion for the sport. They understand the game. They have such a long tradition of volleyball yes. in their country. And I feel like he just he like made me want it even more. And mm-hmm. I was like, so literally the month before I was coming back, I messaged him. I was like, hey, I'm coming back. Is there a place for me to join the group? Like I want to get after it. And he was like, yes. And so and <laughs> Fiapo um, works with him there, and he's incredible. They're just their feedback, the what, what they're seeing. The things that they say to me, it it just makes sense. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, I get it, and I know that I I feel so green because yeah. it's yes, it's volleyball, and I can I can do all the things, but it's different on this surface and with one other person on the court. It's just there's so there's so much that's different out right. there. So I just stay really open to it. And like I said, like the I was just talking to Fiapo, and I was like, I'm just like really focused on the process right now, and I appreciate your feedback and like trying to keep it real simple. Mm-hmm. Like waiting has been like number one for yeah. me, and not like moving too early on defense because I feel like I'm like, Oh, I think she's going to go there and I go right. and it's the other way and you can't freaking go back. So right. like you should just wait until, you know, right. <laughs> like make the right move. You know, it's, I'm, I'm still trying yeah. to figure all that it's out. It's so hard. Waiting all that. Oh my God. It's so hard. It's like a, <laughs> it's always running away from you. You know, yeah. like for me, I know how to side. I've been doing this forever, but I'm still like getting under balls. Like, God damn it. Wait, yeah. <laughs> wait. but also don't wait too far back. Yeah. Oh my God. You wait super so far back. Then you have to out your broad jump. Like really trying to you find gotta, that sweet you gotta spot. You got to go like, forward to your POP, but then wait there. Yep. Yeah. I just keep asking it's like, shoot it, like go faster. Cause I'm fast. So I'm like, just, just set me a slide. Well, <laughs> I was also thinking now that it's a good time for you to come into this work. Cause the game is evolving to where mm. you can run these offenses. And like me, I'm like, I feel like a kid in the candy store now. Well, because Trevor likes very simple volleyball before mm-hmm. and now. And he's like, if you do something stupid, he's like, what the hell are you doing? You know? <laughs> it gives you a lot of shit for it. So me doing like even the set I did the other day. Ooh, that was, was like, a nice one. I thought for sure That's I was going to botch it. Everyone did. And it just came out perfect. And watching it in slow-mo, I'm like, no. I know. Can't. Exactly. Like, I don't know how it came out. You mangled this weird. thing. This money. <laughs> But I, I get to take risks and like do crazy shit, which I love doing. Yeah. And now it's like I'm like shooting sets to came and like optioning. Oh, I feel like, like you guys doing. were doing that with Hayden back in the day. Me and Hayden right? were, but were like the whole the jump set thing. Like I jump set him, and it was, it was more like <clears throat> me trying to be flashy. Got it. Then we didn't see that that like that's actually the game. That's, yeah. Like we could that's easily could have been running it because Hayden's yeah. so good with his option passing. Yeah. Um. But then I had to go away from it and play like pretty right. straight up and down volleyball with Trevor. And now I get to play the system. And now the whole world's like, oh, Sweden's like, is the, that's the future of the game now. Like never leave the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Not, I mean, uh, the opposite. Yeah. They always they, leave the ground. Yeah, yeah. Huge man. <laughs> they never not leave the ground. No, I was like, I don't know. What you Edit mean, that man. out, please. No. <laughs> But it is, and also the hands. Yeah. Like you hated it in the beginning because you have such indoor hands. Yeah, yeah. Now you can flick it. Yeah. And like, Carly's there can be spin. Yeah. I know you have actually like softer hands, but you can you can indoor just launch that thing, and they actually like it. Like right. the refs are incentivized to not call it now. It's Whereas smart. before it's like dish it as long yeah. as it's clean. Oh. Now you can flick it, run around. Okay. Well, this is like Carly exciting me. I am getting excited because I'm like, oh my gosh, I see so many possibilities. Like yeah. if I can start jump setting and doing yeah. fun things, but I have so much yeah. road to, to take right. before I get there. But that sounds great. Yeah. There you go. Okay. You have any partners in mind? Um, I do. I'm going to probably play. The thing is like, we don't really know what we're doing. Maddie right. Kingdon is an indoor player as well. She's played like eight seasons overseas okay. on the national team. And this is her first summer away from the nas- indoor national team. And so we're going to join this program together and kind of see what we can do. Cause we both think we, we don't really know what position we would be. She played in, in college at yeah. Arizona a little bit, but on the beach, but um, she's been away from it for a long time. So yeah. we're thinking just to like get after it and see what we can do together. And then just see how the summer goes. It's not like the thing is it's already started. Like, girls are already you know registered for tournaments and we don't really know what we should do like i think that's part when you were talking about how indoor is just laid out for you it's real right. clear i think that's something that i have to get You're like i don't understand yes i don't understand system, the points and yeah. all this crap yeah i don't understand and i don't know the smart path to for with considering my situation because right. i am very new and i have yeah. a lot to learn but i also like know i want to compete and i want to s- test myself and like so I think finding the right path is going to take a little bit of time. Yeah. Yeah. And 
we just came off of indoor season, so we don't have a lot. Of, we basically we're playing catch up and trying to like get in the mix. It's really hard. Yeah. So yeah. like, yeah, we need help. Are you gonna play <laughs> Virginia Beach? Travis, send up Travis is good with this stuff. <laughs> you get all these point, points things and all that. Well, you when, went through when it. I'm not the one seed in the main draw, you kind of have to. Be. You were once just a journalist. <laughs> I was. <laughs> My roles changed a couple times. Yeah. But are you guys playing Virginia? That's a you good. Know? That's one of the questions I had for Jose. Actually, I, I don't know if we should because I don't know if we'll have enough time to get like ready together. Yeah, she's gonna start next week, so she hasn't even started okay. yet, and that we have, that means we have two weeks to get ready for that. Yeah, and it seems like a big tournament. I mean, the top four go are in to Hermosa, Hermosa, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've been like on the fence with that one since I got back. I don't know what to do, and I think that's it's, yeah. I have to figure that yeah. out. Fastest training play your way into shape as CBVAs. Play like okay. six matches a day. Mm-hmm. You'll figure it out pretty fast. Okay. You won't be able to walk for a couple of days. I maybe, played but... in two last summer <laughs> and had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Split blocking with like a, just someone that I met that's amazing. And she used to play on, on the tour a little bit. Her name's Rasa DeSalvo. And she like was like, do you want to play uh, in a couple of CBVAs? I'm like, sure. And I, I don't even know what we got. Like we, we didn't win either one of them, but we got some points out of it and was really hard. By the end of the day, I was like, fried. Yeah, yeah. Done. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the last time I played. I don't think I've played over three matches in a day since like, I don't know, CBVA days. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Shakter was, was cracking up about that when we were going to the third set oh, against yeah. Rafi and Samuels. And he was like, are you not tired? I was like, no, I played a couple of CBVAs where I hit six matches in a day and he was like, bro, I need like a liquid IV. Yeah. We don't play more than two on the world tour ever. Yeah. We're just oh built. God. It's different. Even like my matches with only an hour turnaround. I was like, yeah, well, they were the nutritionist at USA was asking me to, I saw the salt on your head. Are you sure you were replenishing? And I was like, actually I didn't even eat lunch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I had a little bit of food. I could, I didn't even yeah. have time to like yeah. eat lunch. And I was like, yeah, Maybe that's why I lost. <laughs> There's my excuse. Now you know. Yeah. There's my excuse. Element. There's my excuse. <laughs> do you miss playing at all, rather? I do miss. I miss like playing in the tournaments. Yeah. Uh, I do not miss uh, all the work it takes to play at a high level. Yeah. Like once I remember that, I'm like, oh man, that's a huge commitment. I don't have any yeah. time for that right now, so <laughs> I'm like okay with it. But um, I like do miss it when I go to the tournaments. Like, oh man, this was so fun. Right. Like, it's such a great environment. Yeah. Um, especially at the tournaments here in, in California, mm-hmm. they're like so epic. Just competing. Yeah. Um, so I do miss that, but um, when I think of like having to go down to the beach and like warm up and play with Madison and in early <laughs> morning, I'm like, oh my god, this <laughs> might have been torture. part of the problem. <laughs> you were with Madison for the whole time. No, I'm just Madison, joking. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> No, but when you were talking about like what it takes to be on the beach, yeah. like the commitment, mm-hmm. like I was thinking of them. They just it's you have to be organized and mm-hmm. you have to like make a plan and you have to nutrition and hydration and all these things have to matter and like these guys. Uh, hey, which <laughs> one has to Are you kidding? You? <laughs> yeah, it has right? to like you have to you have to be like fired up for it. Right. And they're like, Oh my god, my alarm's going on to go play on the beach. Like I don't want to <laughs> yeah. do it. Hey, we were like, we had other priorities. And and then balancing sure. what they were doing and playing right. was well, like impossible. That. that was crazy when we were doing yeah. both. It, it was, was like we were burning the candle. At exactly. All, like we were just melting the entire thing. That's why I ignore yeah. ev- everything in life when I have to <laughs> yeah. play. I want to do my nothing. Emails, I keep my emails at zero. <laughs> and as during tournaments, it gets to like 60 and I just ignore everyone on earth. And then like throughout the week, I can slowly get it back down. <laughs> Oh, so dude, I'm the I, worst. If you guys are trying to contact me around tournament time, I just, I'm just like this. I can't. Down, 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 down. Oh, everything's red. Done. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, Riley. He needs a personal assistant. We're yeah, like working on it. So do I. That would be great, Should right? We borrow one? Yeah. <laughs> Share one? <laughs> Jameson? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually great. The I have like a little office at our house, and it's, it's a long desk, and Jameson sits like right next to me. It's so perfect. Oh. I'm like, hey. I need help with this, or can you find me this? And I'm like way more efficient like that. Here's personal assistant. Yeah. Well, not really assistant, kind of assistant. Third, third beer, bro. Yeah, yeah. He is. <laughs> Do you yeah. get the same kind of uh, competitive fulfillment when you make a really good video? 
it's not like competitive. I'm yeah. not like competing against anyone. Yeah. Um, I like, I guess when I'm trying to make anything, I'm like trying to like, I don't know. It sounds weird, but like impress myself. Like yeah. I, I want to like, uh, watch it and be like entertained by it yeah right um and like when i do achieve that i'm like super stoked that being said like i'll never watch the video again because i've watched right. it probably 77 times and <laughs> yeah. i cannot right. watch another second of it um but like that's kind of i don't know the fulfillment i get from it yeah. i'm not there's no competition especially yeah. like uh like I, I don't even remember the last time i like uh, compared ourselves against another youtuber or like another creator it's it maybe at one point it was about that like trying to be the best but now it's just like let's just make cool stuff and try to help the sport yeah. succeed you they don't have much competition sandgas is like right there <laughs> <laughs> with our what four thousand five thousand subscribers yeah but you guys are doing totally different stuff like podcasting and is completely different but no it's fun i i'm like super stoked that i get to like do something that i love yeah. um after my first couple of years playing indoor i tried to like get a real job right and that was like i was I, that was like an awakening moment like i i never want to do that again i never want to work I've, for someone else i learned again. all those lessons through you <laughs> just like in college you, you got like an internship downtown yeah, yeah. You bro, rushed the frat. I was don't like, do bro, don't do it. All this. Yeah. How's that? I told all Should my I? brothers, don't, too. bro. <laughs> okay. That's actually a good point. At least I job, passed brother? the knowledge down, though. <laughs> True. Don't get a real I job. For nothing. <laughs> uh, I think once you get just a little taste of freedom, it makes you unemployable, pretty much. Uh, it's just like. <laughs> Be your own boss. Yeah. yeah. And, and try to. F I mean, we got lucky that we get to do like the things that we love to do um, and get paid to do it but um yeah i mean I, I, sometimes i think about the, like that life and like i can't i can't even Can you picture imagine it. you yeah. sitting in an office no i can't like a cubicle i'd be struggling i'd be struggling and also like it's nice that i still get to be a part of the volleyball world right um yeah you've, put it, you've invested in so much into like yeah being a part of the community and like right i mean you actually knew the game higher i i thought like higher than me a higher level than me and saw it in different ways even on the beach obviously indoors but like to walk away with all that knowledge would yeah, be like, oh, suck. that sucks mm -hmm. yeah that would suck so i'm like happy that we figured out a way to like really i mean not only just be a part of it but like i think there's i think we have a, a unique opportunity to like actually move it forward um we have like some ideas that we're working with right now that um we've looked at the game for i don't know how long and it's gonna be fun <laughs> there's, there's... there we go oh, our dog. I, thought, I thought that was the crow for a second i was like wow that's an interesting noise the crow made honestly i'm more worried about our chihuahua than the... <laughs> get him <laughs> Sorry, we had so we had a crow fly in and try to eat my. We had a nature documentary. Yeah, and then the the guard dog came on the yeah. day. Bentley, Bentley boy. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying? Um, you said no, just like some of the things that we're working on and uh, that we plan on implementing with the AVP this year. Oh yeah, are kind of interesting. Sick. Yeah, I'm excited to see whatever it is that happens. The yeah. one video you guys put out was like. This is sick. They're back. Yeah, thank you. Riley's back. We're trying. <laughs> we had the whole media day at your house. Yeah. Without you there. We are like, wondering if we should, like, announce that or, like... Oh, my bad. No, it's all good. Dude, honestly, it looks super sick. It right. does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was impressed. Could it's be like... anywhere. Yeah. And it's, like, all just crammed into a room a quarter of the size of, of this one that we're in. Right. <laughs> should have had it here. What were we thinking? I, I thought, I thought yeah. about it. <laughs> Next time. Next time, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, that was, and I wasn't even there for it. It was just Madison and Jameson. I was still in yeah. Italy. Yeah, how's uh? I mean, not only did you not get like an office job, but you basically started a business with your brothers, mm -hmm. like as the older brother, kind yeah. of the leader. That's got to be pretty special. Well, it was yeah. It's it's really cool, and um, there's like a lot of great things from it. There's for sure like 
a bunch of challenges that come with it. Right. Um, especially since I'm not the best communicator, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Um, so that's that. why you got Carly. Yes. Yeah. That's why I had you, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're not I need to communicate. I, I know I did it's something. Like, you understand? I understand. Yeah. Yeah. It was telepathic. <laughs> exactly. It's like, do you want to talk about it? Not Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We're on the same page. <laughs> Glad we communicated about not communicating. Oh <laughs> um, but it was never like the like the plan to start a business. It was more like, yo, you you want to make some YouTube videos, and right. let's just that's evolved into the business that right. we have. And yeah. it's like luckily it kept growing that we could bring on the third McKibben brother. Yeah. Um, started him as an intern. I think he's probably upgraded from that, but we'll, we'll, maybe we'll keep him there a little bit longer. <laughs> Yeah. Whatever label you want to give him. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't made the logo yet, so we gotta we gotta ah, insert him in there somehow. He hasn't grown well, a beard. It's yeah. his beard's fault for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's in it's in the process. He needs a couple more years. In processing. the process. Once like the top start once gravity hits him a little bit more, like five right. more years and slides down. Yeah, slides it down. <laughs> and then gotcha. we can squeeze him in there. Gotcha. <laughs> it's gotta be kind of fun to have uh Milo and Storm. Yeah. Buddies now too. Yeah. How old is Milo? Five months. Five months. Five months. Mm-hmm. Jeez, that was fast. Yeah. Yeah. Golly. It was by fast. Yeah. We like we didn't obviously get to see him the first f- five months. He, yeah. We were oh, we saw him over Facetime and it was fun to when we pulled into the driveway just to, like watch him get to like finally hold him and seeing Madison's emotion and it just had been like a long time coming because we obviously left when Chelsea was pregnant so um, and then now that we're in the same complex like on the same piece of land we get to see them every day and Mm. storm already kind of acts like he's her baby so we'll have to we have to like monitor that a little bit but she like loves playing with him and showing him stuff and it's really it's a cool dynamic that they can be together and grow up together just also it's hard it's hard to like think about going anywhere again if i do Uh, take a contract it's like that's another thing like yeah time goes they just grow up so fast and it's freaking hard right. to be away from yeah. family. So I know that decision-making process has to be so tough. How tough was it to make the choice to go to Italy or was that something that you guys wanted to do? Cause I know Riley, you always wanted to go back to Italy. I remember talking yeah. to you and wherever we were, it's for snow volley, but mm-hmm. it seems like that was an easier choice than it'll be going back the next time. Yeah. The, uh, the first decision or the, the 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 decision to go last year was super easy. Yeah. It was like if we can go, great. And the contract offer came in; it couldn't have been more perfect. It was simple. Now, now it's I don't know. It's hard to even like imagine going back for another eight month period, um, just because we know how hard it is. And even like in an ideal situation, it was hard. So it's hard to think, yeah. It's like, h- it's hard to think to like to change countries. Like if I took a contract in Poland or. Greece, like some of these places that my agent's talking about, it's like, gosh, okay, it would be cool if it was just the two of us. Yeah, like, let's go. But yeah. like we were saying, to take Storm to a new place, and it's a lot harder. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that you're not con- going to yeah. have those neighbors. Exactly. You're not going to speak the language. Yes. You're not going to. Yeah. Like, Italy feels like home for me, honestly. Right. And knowing yeah. that he had that desire to go back was like, great. We, he gets to live out his like dream. Right. And yeah. I get to play in a place that I know and love. And in one of the, the the best league in the world, like I get to go back and do that. I'm like stoked for it. Now it's hard to everything comparing to that. Now I'm like, ah, it's just not like there, you know? Yeah. So we're it's hard deep in that process of like figuring out what's right for our family. Now. Yeah. Cause right. not, I mean, not every league is in, I mean, that, that's an exceptionally long season, right? Eight months. Isn't like, it's pretty typical. Really? I for the like European, Korea was like, a, yeah, you get like a three month there. A few of the Asian leagues are yeah. shorter and then Puerto Rico shorter, but all of the European leagues are the same time. Okay. It's usually September until May. Cause then that competes with the CEV cup, right? So everyone kind the, of stays. The Chev is that <clears throat> long. So all those, those overlap, um, the Chev seasons, like from, I don't know, November through May. So that that goes the same time. And then, national team season always starts like in the, at the end of may or early okay. june so like everyone stops is stopped by then and in september like the last tournament of national team season ends and then teams start back up professionally so yeah. like they really actually overlap there's never downtime That's which is crazy. insane yeah i did that cycle for eight years and it was really exhausting and but like 
to you have to do it because you want to stay at the top of your game. So you mm-hmm. need to get the best contract and go for the <clears> longest <throat> season. And and then just gosh, it's really hard. Um, but yeah, yeah that's not now, for me. When I look at like me staying on the indoor track, I'm like, nah, it's hard. Too much time it's, away from the beach. Like literally the beach, not yeah. even yeah. just beach volleyball. <laughs> 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 but that, I mean, when I see guys come back, I'm like, oh, you're done with season sick, right on. Oh no, straight to national team. Mm. Like, oh, <laughs> that would Brutal. be tough. I'm glad I'm not doing that. Yeah. Mm. And but, you, you have no more interest in getting in the national team, Jim? No, I think my time there is. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's done there. I think that's a good place to be. To just, yeah. To know. Yeah. Like, do you think? Uh, it was really interesting having April in here the other day just because she says she wants to come back and play AVPs, mm-hmm. but not because she has anything to prove. She just likes playing. Mm-hmm. Like, Do you think that you have anything left in you to prove to anyone, or is it just kind of a passion that you enjoy doing? That's a good question, and I kind of think I'm still battling with that because there are moments where I like still feel – my, my goal and my dream was like an, an Olympic gold medal. I wanted to be a part of that, um, making history with that program. And like, I saw that often, like when, growing up. So when I did walk away, it felt like ugh, I didn't reach it. Like I didn't actually maximize and like find that feeling that I wanted. Mm-hmm. But I also knew that if I stayed with the program any longer, I would be going against like a, a different part of myself. There were some things that were happening that I just didn't feel aligned with any longer. Yeah. And I didn't feel like I could show up and be uh, happy in that environment anymore. So when I did walk away, it was like, this is the right time for me to step away from this this dream and this this goal that I had. But I still love the sport so much mm-hmm. that I wanted to continue playing professionally. And I have been doing that still. So it's it's hard sometimes. And I don't think I like have something to prove, but there's a part of me that feels like I haven't maximized my potential mm-hmm. and like... That's, I think that's why I'm still here. Like, honestly, I, right. I, I keep feeling like every season I'm getting better. I'm learning more. I'm like something clicks and like having Riley watch me this last season and just hearing his perspective and like the little things he sees the game, you know, how detailed he is. Right. So like I come out and I, there's, he's telling me things. I'm like, Oh, it makes sense. And so he's helping me grow, which is really unique. I mean, he's he was really really good at this position too so Mm -hmm. I don't know I feel like I'm still growing and so that's why it's hard for me to stop playing I even though I don't have this like big goal anymore there's a part of me that feels like I'm I'm not settled like if I walked away I would I'd maybe I would regret it a little bit Mm -hmm. you know that's so I think we're in this like unique position where yeah thankfully he's a partner that like wants me to do it and he can also help me which is crazy you know he gets it he just like totally gets it and he's helped me a lot in the past few years of us being together and him watching me play even though his delivery isn't always great and we're working on his communication skills he's (laughs) awesome yeah he does have (laughs) do it better yeah (laughs) yeah sometimes i just want to punch him but that's okay that's pretty normal (laughs) <laughs> yeah that's actually like I, I think about it a lot when i see couples in that are both in volleyball mm-hmm. like i'm i'm glad i have someone in something completely different yeah yeah like literally the opposite i mean mm. both entertainers yeah. <laughs> but i try to i've tried like over time like because i'm like being successful in my career and mm-hmm. i'm trying to apply okay what i'm doing to what you're doing and it's just like no just shut up <laughs> just shut up <laughs> like okay never mind <laughs> it doesn't really work no, for me. yeah well it's good to have you guys back yeah thanks and thanks for coming and hanging on the pod yeah you know, no, thanks uh, for having us you're, you're we're on borrowed time at the moment i know it's amazing <laughs> yeah. i thought for sure we'd have girls running yeah. in and like crying or something and just a crow just, yeah, just, just the, the crow, crow trying to snipe some hummus <laughs> yeah to start okay. start uh moana back yeah. over and she'll the cheat code yeah <laughs> i think you guys are retired from moana seven times on the yeah way back. well it's just the early. first 45 minutes yeah she only loves the first 45 and worse. then wants to recycle it but um, <laughs> yeah hey whatever keeps a kid exactly. in their seat on a 13 hour flight you just gotta do it you guys want to know a fun fact about moana heck oh, yeah. yeah so in italy moana is renamed oceania Weird. And Moana's name is different. 
Her name is, do you remember it? Vianna. Vianna. What? And that is because Moana in Italy is the most famous porn star of all time. <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. So, so when we oh, tell people, we're like, we're yeah. like, yeah. Uh, Storm loves Moana. It's like <laughs> it's everyone's faces, and like in the beginning, I was like, "What is going on?" And then they're like, "Do you know who Moana is?" I was like, "We got her a Moana doll." Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw it like at the grocery store. I'm like, "Oh, look, Carly, it's Moana, but it's called Oceania." And I turned around, like maybe they changed her name too. And for sure, yeah, they changed it. And I was explaining Moana. it to our neighbor. She's like, "Well, this is why." Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the whole Moana yeah. thing is. Because, like, we grew up in Hawaii <laughs> learning, like, the tales and legends yeah. of Hawaiian, whatever, culture. And, like, it's not the same as in the movie. It's like a mixture of, yeah, like, Maori th- mixed with Hawaiian mixed with Samoan mixed with... Yeah, I think they did Polynesia. a comedy. But it's also interesting. I read this book. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it is... I forget what the book is called, but... Essentially, the what Moana is about actually kind of happened, where all of the Polynesians spread out throughout all of the islands. And a giant lava monster. And came no, out of the and ground? they all forgot. <laughs> they all forgot that they actually voyaged there. They forgot that where they they had come from, oh. which is what Moana is about. Like they were once voyagers, and then they, now they aren't anymore, and they have to become voyagers again. So like that's what it's kind of true, hmm. you know. Like gotcha. the idea is actually right. true. inspired by. This will be on story. a different podcast, yeah. <laughs> different genre, we'll different genre. Yeah, exactly. Our next podcast spinoff will be children's movie reviews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moana slash Viana. <laughs> In America, Viana sounds like the porn star name. Yeah. For sure. That was probably someone's joke. Like, oh, let's just switch them. Yeah, right. To the most popular right. porn star yeah. in the U.S. <laughs> Well, Carly, where can uh, our listeners follow your journey? You on Insta, Twitter? I have Instagram, and that's it. I have a, okay. I, I do have a website too, um, showupwithme.com. and but Instagram is where I am. That's just Carly Lloyd. Carly Lloyd three. Straight up, okay. Yep. And you've been doing work outside too with like Vibe and uh, Love. Yeah, too? so You're I'm still doing stuff with that. Yeah, vibe is different. So vibe separate, when I'm but... here, I like do lessons and stuff right, and work right, with gotcha. some kids when I'm local. Um, Love is the league that's starting in 2024, and I've been on their like athlete council advisory board for the last two years, like helping them build the league and basically structure it in a way that it can compete with a professional league overseas. Mm. So they want to build the strongest league in the world. That's like their vision, and huh. they're kind of building from like the club level up. So it's like buying kind of becoming like the European owner of, soccer yeah. yes exactly. there's actually European it's like a in Italy it's oh, how, how some of the clubs too, right? do it too like yeah. the club that I played for they have a youth group and right. then it grows yeah. and that's kind of what love is doing so I've been working with them and um I yeah I'm signed on with to play for them mm. in 2024 if everything goes well Sick. so yeah there you go um and yeah, with my website, I do like mentorship for setters too. We do like online uh, stuff. Right. And, yeah. But there you go. That's like, yeah, I do a lot, a lot to manage. Setters, check right out now. the website. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Well, great having you guys on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Take yeah. a break from Moana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're we'll running in there, and Gabby just has uh, two girls just screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, sorry. Yeah. about that? Shoots. Shoots. <laughs>